Welcome again to another podcast, uh, Smiles in the Air, your oral health and prevention podcast. I'm Salsa da Costa, and today with me, I have our crazy scientist, Dr. Marcel Donnet. <laughs> so, for you that don't know uh, Dr. Marcel Donnet, uh, it's a pity. That's the first thing, but also that you are the mind behind the Ritual powder, the Plus powder, and the new handpiece, the Airflow Max. So, tell us a little bit more about it. Why the specialist in powders? Because this is the story of your life. <laughs> okay, it's a long story. <laughs> so, I'm chemical engineer. And uh, may, studying chemistry, it's quite interesting. But during my studies, I have seen the material science. And so I thought during my PhD, maybe I like to look at material science. And I went in the laboratory of powder technology. And they were developing powder for uh, bone in injection, bone substitute in terms of powder. And I thought, wow, interesting. And so I did my PhD in this laboratory. And so then I studied powder. I brought to this laboratory my chemical engineering knowledge. And I learned all what is material science powder related. And so I spent four and a half, ta uh, four and a half years of my time <laughs> studying powder, developing powders. And at the end, then uh, there was an opportunity to create a startup company devoted also to powder uh, technology, powder production. And so I tried this startup life, but at the end it was not so successful. And then uh, I joined AMS as a powder specialist. And you came up with the idea of having the Richard powder. How and why? So uh, when I arrived at AMS, there was only the sodium bicarbonate. Yeah. But there was a start of the perio powder, the subgingival powder. And so, first of all, it was the aim of uh, dealing with this powder, understanding this powder. And then when we had developed this perio powder, then there was a next challenge in order to find another powder, a better powder to this. And so we were looking outside different materials, And during this development, we found this erythritol as a material. We developed it. Uh, it was not an easy task. It took us five years about to reach the point to, to see that we have a good powder because we have all the powder challenge, especially the challenge working in the powder chamber and having a nice working powder chamber with uh, such so fine powder This was a real difficult task, yeah. but we managed to do it. And the crazy thing is like, um, for us that use as clinicians, the powder is just a powder. <laughs> but it's amazing how you do your lectures because you talk, uh, okay, it's a powder, but moves like a liquid. It needs to have the, the form. It needs to have the, the effectiveness. So what are the benefits of the plus powder today? Uh, the main benefits first of the powder is this ability to clean the surface uh, thanks to these small particles of the powder. So it's easy to clean, but very fast to clean with the most patient comfort. And here now with the plus powder, especially to this plus powder, we have the very small grain size of the particle, which makes that the final patient doesn't feel the powder. So it cleans well, has efficient, but with the maximum comfort for the patient. And I think that was a great advantage. The second great advantage is the efficiency of this powder, meaning we are able to clean supragingival, subgingivally. Uh, so it becomes an universal powder. And that is also really amazing with regard to the perio, which was only subgingival, to have the possibility to not need to change the powder for the different treatments. And that was a real breakthrough. Yeah, and, and it's based on the erythritol. So for the, the, for the, 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 all the listeners that are uh, paying attention to your, uh, to your explanation, what is erythritol? So erythritol is um, polyol. It means it's a sugar um, replacement a molecule, which is sweet, but which is not a sugar, which is not taken by the body. And this uh, sweetness is 0.8% uh, percent, uh, or 0.8 or 80% of the sugar. So it's less sweet than the sugar. 
and uh, so good taste and simple molecule without allergies, without reactions. So uh, just an ideal deal product. It's been more than 30 years that we have studies about erythritol, but most of them is for the diet reasons. So people were doing cakes, doing beverage with it. Um, so we can consider it safe. Yeah. Why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pushing you now. No, now you need to explain all of this. <laughs> no, no, of course. Uh, it, it's really safe because it doesn't react with the powder, uh, with the body, meaning it's a simple molecule. Polyol, it has these hydroxyl groups, which are very stable groups. So it goes through the body without any reaction, without any harm to the body. And therefore, it's so safe. Uh, we do not have uh, irritation on the skin, for yeah. example, all that. And then here, erythritol is used for diet powder. So most of the study are related to this. We are not eating the powder. Yeah. And so all, all these biocompatibility aspects are just perfect with erythritol. And therefore, it's... I think a very good choice. Yeah, so uh, it's is completely safe for diabetic persons. So the index, yes. gla glycemic index is less than 1%. Yes. Right, so we can find it naturally. Yeah. Right, where? Grapes? Grapes uh, uh, different fruits. Also in the own body, it's generated. Body. We, pr we produce uh, yes. the erythritol. Yes. Okay, so... And when we are using it in the mouth, we are not ingesting, like you said. Yeah. So the, the amount that we can maybe swallow is quite uh, uh, small. Nearly nothing. <laughs> Nearly nothing. <laughs> that's, that's good. Well, why is the reason that erythritol is replacing glycine and, uh, and sodium bicarbonate? Because w we are saying that uh, with erythritol, we can, s we can touch all the cases. Mm -hmm. And if we have a good technique with the Airflow Max, we can remove all the stains, biofilm, and even early calculus um, quite easily. Mm -hmm. What is this, this difference between the erythritol that has a size of only 14 microns yes. with the sodium bicarbonate that has a size of 14 microns? 40 microns, yes. Uh, sodium bicarbonate is a uh, material which is heavier, harder, with a salty taste. And this hard material, uh, and we have the next uh, effect, it's quite basic. So it's not neutral in the solution. By dissolution, it's basic. So it has come some reactions. And so this harder material is creating more pain for the soft tissues. Uh, with erythritol, how I've mentioned, doesn't have any reaction, neutral also with the pH. So hitting the soft tissue, you cannot feel it. Therefore, it's very, very good. Then with the glycine, Glycine is slightly acidic, or not dangerous, 6.5, so it's not uh, an issue. But the glycine is a material which is less uh, efficient. Uh, and due to this lower efficiency, uh, to remove some stains is quite difficult. It takes time. Yeah. And therefore, with uh, erythritol, we are just in between. And uh, yeah. Quite ideal. And we have a lot of questions. Why we add chlorhexidine uh, to the powder or why we add CPC, if we are talking Japan or <laughs> North America, uh, to the powder? Okay, here we are using it because we are using this powder subgingivally. Uh, the powder could be, um, could be, could become some a bacteria. Bacteria can develop inside the powder and we will ensure that we will have a really safe treatment. And therefore, the chlorhexidine or the CPC is used as a preservative, meaning if some bacteria will contaminate the powder, if it's, it could happen, then it will be killed immediately when it comes in contact with water. So it's really to protect the powder and to make the treatment as safe as possible. Exactly. So it's not to have a second option of the treatment and add the chlorhexidine to, I don't know, reduce the inflammation, but it's really just to maintain the powder uh, bacteria-free. Exactly. So it's a preservative. Exactly. Not, in, nothing in else. In fact, when we are adding the water, the, the concentration of chlorhexidine is becoming, becoming so low that we will not have any additional effect. Yeah. 
one of the other questions. So we say that the digital is completely suitable. Mm -hmm. So why we have this capacity to have the erythritol hitting the, the surface of the, the teeth and only after being suitable? Okay. Uh, in fact, there is two answers to this question. The first one is the pure physical uh, aspect because the water is added beside the powder. So we have the powder on water in the middle and uh, powder on air in the middle and the water aside. So during this um, small travel distance, the powder is not touched by the water. And so we will have this cleaning effect. Yeah. The second aspect is that we are covering the powder with a protective layer of amorphous silica, hydrophobic amorphous silica. Completely safe. Uh, this is completely safe. We are using it to ensure a perfect functioning of the device, even if you forget the powder chamber uh, in a rainy weekend, during a rainy weekend. So it will work. It's not a problem. The powder is protected. And here we add something on top of it. But the physical aspect is more this traveling distance where the powder is traveling dry to the to tooth. Okay, I think we answer all the questions about it. But I have one more. Why you dedicate your your life to powder? That's because uh, <laughs> I know this because I already got stopped also to the airport. <laughs> Most probably we are stopped at the airport in the security uh, <laughs> entrance. <laughs> it happened to you. It happened to me too. Yeah. So, but why this uh, this um, passion about the powders? Yeah. Not because you want to be uh, a cartel, <laughs> right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> In fact, uh, powder is quite funny. You know, uh, it's like why I studied chemistry first. Chemistry, you do not have uh, fixed rules where all is happening like you like. There is a lot of feeling that you need to have. And with the powder, it's the same. You need a lot of feeling with the powder. There is no uh, defined rules up to now because powder is in between liquid, in between solid. And it's what I like. It's having the freedom to find out new things thanks to this unknown world. Yeah, that's what I like about you. You know, <laughs> you can spend hours about uh, talking about powder. That's most of the people who say, yeah, it's something that I put in my device and I do the, the prophylaxis with it. Um, but no, you, there's really a science be, uh, behind it. And you are al already working in the future uh, for the powders, what I, I appreciated. And you bring some crazy ideas that I really like. Uh, so, um, yeah, thank you, Marcel, for, for coming for this podcast. Uh, thank you also to explain a lot of uh, uh, the, the arguments why we, we praise the plus powder, the retitrol powder as the, the powder for all cases mm -hmm. and uh, the minimal invasive uh, uh, approach that we have with the retitrol, also the safeness of the, the retitrol. So I think everyone understood now what it is. <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully if you have questions you have so many webinars on the swiss dental online academy that uh, is impossible to miss my, my opinion mm -hmm. and if you haven't seen it go see it and you will spend one hour talking about powders <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> so thank you again remain this our crazy scientists <laughs> I want that. And uh, for all the listeners, uh, don't forget to subscribe our podcast on YouTube, um, Apple Podcasts or Spotify and don't miss the next episodes. Thank you, Marcel, once more. Thank once you. More. <laughs> once more. Thank you. Thank you.